Hi, Callum here from Study in Australia TV. Today we're going to take a look at Australia's famous people. Not all of them are celebrities, some are well known internationally, but others are recognised in Australia only or famous in their own field. From actors, musicians, models and sports stars to politicians, medical practitioners and activists, Australia has produced some amazingly influential people who have made a massive difference to our society and helped to make the world a better place. Here's a list of Australian people in no particular order who have made their mark for a range of different reasons. Russell Crowe. Russell Ira Crowe, born on the 7th of April 1964, is an actor, director, musician and singer. Although a New Zealander by birth, he spent 10 years of his childhood in Australia and returned there permanently at the age of 21. He came to international attention for his role as Roman general Maximus Decimus Meridius in the epic historical film Gladiator in the year 2000, for which he won an Academy Award, Broadcast Film Critics Association Award, Empire Award, and London Film Critics Circle Award for Best Leading Actor, along with 10 other nominations in the same category. Crowe's other award-winning performances include tobacco firm whistleblower Jeffrey Wigan in the drama film The Insider, in 1999 and John F. Nash in the biopic and A Beautiful Mind in 2001. He has also starred in films such as the drama Romper Stomper in 1992, the mystery detective thriller LA Confidential in 1997, the epic war film Master and Commander The Far Side of the World in 2003, the boxing drama Cinderella Man in 2005, the western 310 to Yuma in 2007, the crime drama American Gangster, also in 2007, the thriller drama State of Play in 2009, and Robin Hood in 2010. Crow later starred in the musical drama Les Miserables in 2012, as Jorel in the superhero epic Man of Steel in 2013, the biblical fantasy drama Noah in 2014, and the action comedy The Nice Guys in 2016. In 2014, he made his directorial debut with the drama The Water Diviner, in which he also starred. He has earned several accolades, including a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame, two Golden Globe Awards, one BAFTA, and one Academy Award out of three consecutive nominations in 1999, 2000, and 2001. Olivia Newton-John. Dame Olivia Newton-John, ACDBE, born 26th of September 1948, is a British Australian singer, songwriter, actress, entrepreneur, and activist. She is a four-time Grammy Award winner whose chart career includes five US number ones and another 10 top tens on Billboard's Hot 100 and two Billboard 200 number one albums. If You Love Me, Let Me Know in 1974 and Have You Ever Been Mellow in 1975. 11 of her singles, including two platinum, and 14 of her albums, including two platinum and four two-time platinums, have been certified gold by the Recording Industry Association of America, or the RIAA. She has sold an estimated 120 million records worldwide, making her one of the best-selling music artists of all time. In 1978, she starred in the musical film Grease, whose soundtrack remains one of the most successful in history. It features two major hit duets with co-star John Travolta, You're the One That I Want, which ranks as one of the best-selling singles of all time, and Summer Nights. Her signature solo recordings include the Record of the Year Grammy winner, I Honestly Love You, in 1974, and Physical, in 1981, Billboard's top hot 100 singles of the 1980s, plus her cover of If Not For You, in 1971, Let Me Be There, in 1973, if You Love Me, Let Me Know in 1974. Have You Ever Been Mellow in 1975? Sam in 1977, Hopelessly Devoted to You, also from Greece. A Little More Love in 1978, Heart Attack in 1982, and from the 1980 film Xanadu, Magic and Xanadu, with the Electric Light Orchestra. Newton-John has also been a long-time activist for environmental and animal rights issues. She has been an advocate for health awareness becoming involved with various charities, health products, and fundraising efforts. Her business interests have included launching several product lines for Koala Blue and co-owning the Gaia Retreat and Spa in Australia. Hugh Jackman. 
Hugh Michael Jackman, AC, born 12th of October 1968, is an actor, singer, and producer. He is best known for playing Wolverine or Logan in the X-Men film series from 2000 to 2017, a role for which he holds the Guinness World Record for longest career as a live action Marvel superhero. Jackman is also recognized for his lead roles in films such as the romantic comedy Little Kate and Leopold in 2001, the action film Van Helsing in 2004, the drama The Prestige in 2006, the fantasy drama The Fountain also in 2006, and the period romance Australia in 2008, the film version of Les Miserables in 2012, the thriller Prisoners in 2013, and the musical The Greatest Showman in 2017, for which he received a Grammy Award for Best Soundtrack Album. For playing Jean Valjean in Les Miserables, he was nominated for the Academy Award for Best Actor and won the Golden Globe Award for Best Actor, Motion Picture, Musical or Comedy. In Broadway theatre, Jackman won the 2004 Tony Award for Best Actor in a Musical for his role in The Boy from Oz. A four-time host of the Tony Awards, he won an Emmy Award for hosting the 2005 ceremony. He also hosted the 81st Academy Awards in 2009. Jackman was appointed a Companion of the Order of Australia in the 2019 Queen's Birthday Honours for services to performing arts and to the global community. Delta Goodrum Delta Lee Goodrum, born 9th of November 1984, is an Australian singer, songwriter and actress. Goodrum signed to Sony Music at the age of 15. Her debut album, Innocent Eyes, in 2003, topped the ARIA album charts for 29 non-consecutive weeks. It is one of the highest selling Australian albums and is the second best selling Australian album of all time, with over 4 million copies sold. Goodrum's second album, Mistaken Identity, in 2004, was created while she was suffering from cancer. It became her second number one album. In 2007, Goodrum released Delta, her third number one album, which saw another number one single, In This Life. Her fourth studio album, Child of the Universe in 2012 produced the single Sitting on Top of the World. In 2016, her fifth album, Wings of the Wild, became her fourth number one album on the ARIA album charts, while giving her another number one single, Wings. Goodrum's most recent and fifth number one album, Bridge Over Troubled Dreams, was released in May 2021. Goodrum has a total of nine number one signals and 17 top 10 hits on the ARIA singles chart. She has sold over 8 million albums globally and overall has won three World Music Awards, nine ARIA Music Awards, an MTV Video Music Award and several other awards. She served as a coach on The Voice Australia from 2012 to 2013 and again from 2015 to 2020. During her one season hiatus in 2014, she served as a coach on The Voice Kids and coached eventual winner Alexa Curtis. She was reportedly paid an Australian $2 million per season after negotiating an increase from her initial $800,000. She coached eventual winners of the show in season five in 2016 and again in season six in 2017. Keith Urban. Keith Lionel Urban, born 26th of October 1967, is a New Zealand-born Australian singer, songwriter and record producer. In 1991, he released a self-titled debut album, charting four singles in Australia before moving to the United States the following year. He found work as a session guitarist before starting a band known as The Ranch, which recorded one studio album in capital Nashville and charted two singles on the US Billboard Hot Country Songs chart. Still signed to Capitol, Urban made his solo American debut in 1999 with a second eponymous album. Certified platinum in the US by the RIAA, it produced his first number one on the hot country charts with But For The Grace Of God, Somebody Like You, the first signal from his second Capitol album, Golden Road, in 2002, was named by Billboard as the biggest country hit of the 2000s decade. The album's fourth single, You'll Think of Me, featuring his nephew and country artist Rory Gilliatt, earned him his first Grammy Award. 2004's Be Here, his third American album, became the highest selling album, being certified four times platinum, 
Love, Pain and the Whole Crazy Thing was released in 2006, containing Once in a Lifetime, as well as his second Grammy award-winning song, Stupid Boy. A greatest hits package titled Greatest Hits, 18 Kids followed in late 2007. Defying Gravity and Get Closer were released on the 31st of March 2009 and the 16th of November 2010 respectively. In September 2013, he released the album Fuse, which produced four more number ones on the country airplay chart. John Cougar, John Deere, John 316 was released in June 2015 as the lead single of his eighth American studio album, Ripcord. The album later produced the country airplay chart number one hits, Break On Me, Wasted Time, and Blue Ain't Your Color, with the latter also becoming Urban's longest reigning number one on the Hot Country Songs chart, spending 12 weeks atop the chart. His 10th album, Graffiti You, was released in 2018 and includes the top 10 hit, Coming Home. His 11th album, The Speed of Now, Part One, was released in 2020 and includes the global hit One Too Many with Pink, in addition to country airplay top 10 hits We Were and God Whispered Your Name. Urban has released a total of 11 studio albums, one of which was released only in Australia, as well as one album with The Ranch. He has charted 37 singles on the US Hot Country Songs chart, 18 of which went to number one, counting a duet with Brad Paisley, called Start a Band, and the 2008 single, You Look Good in My Shirt, which he previously recorded on Golden Road. Those also include his third Grammy award-winning single, Sweet Thing, from his album, Defying Gravity. Urban is also known for his role as a coach on the Australian version of the singing competition, The Voice, and as a judge on American Idol. In October 2013, Urban introduced his own signature line of guitars and accessories, Urban is a citizen of New Zealand, his place of birth, as well as a citizen of both Australia and the United States. Urban met Australian actress Nicole Kidman at G'day LA, a Hollywood event promoting Australia in January 2005, and they began dating six months later. They married on 25th of June 2006 in Sydney and have two daughters. Nicole Kidman. Nicole Mary Kidman, AC born 20th of June 1967, is an Australian-American actress, producer, and singer. She has received numerous accolades throughout her career, including two Primetime Emmy Awards, five Golden Globe Awards, and an Academy Award from four nominations. She was ranked among the world's highest paid actresses in 2006, 2018, and 2019. Time Magazine named her one of the 100 most influential people in the world in 2004 and 2018. In 2020, the New York Times ranked her fifth on its list of the greatest actors of the 21st century up to that point. Kidman began her acting career in Australia with the 1983 films Bush Christmas and BMX Bandits. Her breakthrough came in 1989 with the thriller film Dead Calm and the miniseries Bangkok Hilton. In 1990, she made her Hollywood debut in the racing film Days of Thunder, opposite Tom Cruise. She went on to achieve wider recognition with lead roles in Far and Away in 1992, Batman Forever in 1995, To Die For also in 1995, and Eyes Wide Shut in 1999. Kidman won the Academy Award for Best Actress for portraying the writer Virginia Woolf in the drama The Hours in 2002. Her other Oscar-nominated roles were as a courtesan in the musical Moulin Rouge in 2001, an emotionally troubled mother in the drama Rabbit Hole in 2010, and Lion in 2016. Kidman's other film credits include The Others, 2001, Cold Mountain, 2003, Dogville, 2003, Birth in 2004, Australia in 2008, The Paperboy in 2012, Paddington in 2014, The Killing of a Sacred Deer in 2017, Destroyer in 2018, Aquaman in 2018, and Bombshell in 2019. Kidman's television roles include Hemingway and Gellhorn in 2012, Big Little Lies 2017 to 2019, Top of the Lake and China Girl in 2017, and The Undoing in 2020. For Big Little Lies, she won two Primetime Emmy Awards for Outstanding Lead Actress and Outstanding Limited Series as an executive producer. 
Kidman has been a goodwill ambassador for UNICEF since 1994 and for UNIFEM since 2006. In 2006, she was appointed Companion of the Order of Australia. Since she was born to Australian parents in Hawaii, Kidman holds dual citizenship of Australia and the United States. In 2010, she founded the production company Blossom Films. Kidman has been married twice, first to actor Tom Cruise and later to country singer Keith Urban, with which he has two children with. Prior to marrying Cruise, Kidman had been involved in relationships with Australian actor Marcus Graham and Wind Rider, 1986 co-star Tom Berlinson. She was also said to be involved with Adrian Brody. The film Cold Mountain brought rumours that an affair between Kidman and co-star Jude Law was responsible for the breakup of his marriage. She began dating musician Lenny Kravitz in 2003 before becoming engaged to him until they eventually decided to break off the engagement. Kidman was also romantically linked to rapper Hugh Tip. Robbie Williams claimed he had a short romance with Kidman while on her yacht in the summer of 2004. Mel Gibson. Mel Gerard Gibson, AO, born January 3rd, 1956, is an Australian American actor, director, and screenwriter. He is best known for his action hero roles, particularly his breakout role as Max Rokotansky in the first three films of the post apocalyptic action series Mad Max, and as Martin Riggs in the buddy cop film series Lethal Weapon. Born in Peekskill, New York, Gibson moved with his parents to Sydney, Australia when he was 12 years old. He studied acting at the National Institute of Dramatic Arts, or NIDA, where he starred opposite Judy Davis in a production of Romeo and Juliet. During the 1980s, he founded Icon Entertainment, a production company which independent film director Atom Ijuan has called an alternative to the studio system. Director Peter Weir cast him as one of the leads in the World War I drama Gallipoli in 1981, which earned Gibson a Best Actor Award from the Australian Film Institute, as well as a reputation as a serious, versatile actor. In 1995, Gibson produced, directed and starred in Braveheart, a historical epic for which he won the Golden Globe Award for Best Director, the Academy Award for Best Director and the Academy Award for Best Picture. He later directed and produced The Passion of the Christ, biblical drama that was both financially successful and highly controversial. He received further critical notice for his directorial work of the action-adventure film Apocalypto in 2006, which is set in Mesoamerica during the early 16th century. After several legal issues and controversial statements leaked to the public, Gibson's public image plummeted significantly, affecting his careers in acting and directing. His career began seeing a resurgence with his performance in Jodie Foster's The Beaver in 2011, and his directorial comeback after an absence of 10 years, Hacksaw Ridge, in 2016, which won two Academy Awards and was nominated for another four, including Best Picture and Best Director for Gibson, his second nomination in the category. Kylie Minogue. Kylie Ann Minogue, AO, OBE, born 28th of May 1968, also known mononymously as Kylie, is an Australian singer, songwriter, and actress. Minogue is the highest selling female Australian artist of all time, having sold over 70 million records worldwide. She has been recognized for reinventing herself in music and fashion for which she is referred to by the European press as the Princess of Pop and a style icon. Her accolades include a Grammy Award, three Brit Awards and 17 Aria Music Awards. Born and raised in Melbourne, Australia, Minogue achieved recognition starring in the Australian soap opera Neighbours, playing tomboy mechanic Charlene Robinson. She gained prominence as a recording artist in the late 1980s and released four bubblegum and dance pop influenced studio albums produced by Stock Atkin Waterman. By the early 1990s, she had amassed several top 10 signals in the UK and Australia, including I Should Be So Lucky, The Locomotion, Hand On Your Heart, and Better The Devil You Know. 
Taking more creative control over her music, Minogue signed with Deconstruction Records in 1993 and released Kylie Minogue in 1994 and Impossible Princess in 1997, both of which received positive reviews. She returned to mainstream dance-oriented music with 2000's Light Years, including the number one hits Spinning Around and On a Night Like This. The follow-up, Fever, in 2001 was an international breakthrough for Minogue, becoming her best-selling album to date. Two of its singles, Love at First Sight and In Your Eyes, became hits, but its lead single, can't Get You Out of My Head became one of the most successful singles of the 2000s, selling over 5 million units. Minogue continued reinventing her image and experimenting with a range of genres on her subsequent albums, which spawned successful singles such as Slow, Two Hearts, All the Lovers, Santa Baby, Time Bomb, and Dancing. With her 2020 album Disco, she became the first female artist to have a chart-topping album in the UK for five consecutive decades. Minogue made her film debut in The Delinquents in 1989 and portrayed Cammie in Street Fighter in 1994. She has also appeared in the films Moulin Rouge, 2001, Jack and Diane, Holy Motors in 2012, and San Andreas in 2015. In 2014, she appeared as a judge on the third series of The Voice UK and The Voice Australia. Her other ventures include product endorsements, children's books, fashion, and charitable work. Minogue was appointed an officer of the Order of the British Empire in the 2008 New Year's Honours for Services to Music. She was appointed by the French government as a chevalier, which is a knight, of the Ordre des Arts et des Lettres, for her contribution to the enrichment of French culture. In 2005, while Minogue was on tour, she was diagnosed with breast cancer. She was awarded an honorary Doctor of Health Science degree by Anglia Ruskin University in 2011 for her work in raising awareness for breast cancer. At the 2011 ARIA Music Awards, she was inducted into the ARIA Hall of Fame. From 1989 to 1991, Minogue dated in excess frontman Michael Hutchins. Her relationship with Michael Hutchins was also seen as part of her departure from her earlier persona. The making of the Better the Devil You Know video was the first time Minogue felt part of the creative process. Minogue is regarded as a gay icon, which she has encouraged with comments including, I'm not a traditional gay icon. There's been no tragedy in my life, only tragic outfits. And my gay audience has been with me from the beginning. They kind of adopted me. Her status as a gay icon has been attributed to her music, fashion sense, and career longevity. Paul Hogan. Paul Hogan, AM, born 8th of October 1939, is an Australian actor, comedian, film producer, television presenter, and writer. He was nominated for the Academy Award for Best Original Screenplay and won the Golden Globe Award for Best Actor in a Motion Picture Musical or Comedy for his performance as Outback Adventurer Michael Crocodile Dundee in Crocodile Dundee in 1986, the first in the Crocodile Dundee film series. In 1985, Hogan was named Australian of the Year. In 1986, he was appointed a member of the Order of Australia, an AM, for service to tourism and entertainment. In 1987, Hogan won a Golden Globe Award for Best Actor, Musical or Comedy for Crocodile Dundee. In 2016, Hogan received the Longford Lyle Award, the highest honor of the Australian Academy of Cinema and Television Arts, or the ACTA Awards, for outstanding services to the Australian screen. Hogan and his first wife, Nolene Edwards, married in 1958. They separated and divorced in 1981 and remarried less than one year later. A second divorce, initiated in 1986, was considered one of Australia's ugliest celebrity divorces. Hogan married his Crocodile Dundee co-star, Linda Kozlowski, in 1990. Germaine Greer Germaine Greer, 
born 29th of January 1939, is an Australian writer and public intellectual, regarded as one of the major voices of the radical feminist movement in the latter half of the 20th century. Specialising in English and women's literature, she has held academic positions in England at the University of Warwick and Newnham College, Cambridge, and in the United States at the University of Tulsa. Based in the United Kingdom since 1964, she has divided her time since the 1990s between Queensland, Australia, and her home in Essex, England. Greer's ideas have created controversy ever since her first book, The Female Eunuch, in 1970 made her a household name. An international bestseller and a watershed text in the feminist movement, it offered a systematic deconstruction of ideas such as womanhood and femininity arguing that women were forced to assume submissive roles in society to fulfil male fantasies of what being a woman entailed. Greer's subsequent work has focused on literature, feminism and the environment. She has written over 20 books including Sex and Destiny in 1984, The Change in 1991, The Whole Woman in 1999 and The Boy in 2003. Her 2013 book, White Beach, The Rainforest Years, describes her efforts to restore an area of rainforest in the Newman Bar Valley in Australia. In addition to her academic work and activism, she has been a prolific columnist for the Sunday Times, The Guardian, The Daily Telegraph, The Spectator, The Independent, and The Oldie, amongst others. Greer has received several honorary doctorates, a Doctor of Letters from York University, in 1999, a Doctor of Laws from the University of Melbourne in 2003, and a Doctor of Letters from the University of Sydney in 2005. In the UK, she was voted Woman of the Year in 1971, and in 2016, BBC Radio 4's Woman's Hour placed her fourth on its annual power list of seven women who had the biggest impact on women's lives over the previous 70 years. Don Bradman. Sir Donald George Bradman, AC, born 27th of August 1908 and died 25th of February 2001, nicknamed The Don, was an Australian international cricketer, widely acknowledged as the greatest batsman of all time. Bradman's career test batting average of 99.94 has been cited as the greatest achievement by any sportsman in any major sport. The story that the young Bradman practiced alone with a cricket stump and a golf ball is part of Australian folklore. Bradman's meteoric rise from bush cricket to the Australian test team took just over two years. Before his 22nd birthday, he had set many records for top scoring, some of which still stand, and became Australia's sporting idol at the height of the Great Depression. During a 20 year playing career, Bradman consistently scored at a level that made him in the words of former Australian captain Bill Woodfall, were three batsmen to Australia. A controversial set of tactics, known as body line, was especially devised by the English team to curb his scoring. As a captain and administrator, Bradman was committed to attacking, entertaining cricket. He drew spectators in record numbers. He hated the constant adulation, however, and it affected how he dealt with others. The focus of attention on his individual performances strained relationships with some of his teammates, administrators and even journalists who thought him aloof and wary. Following an enforced hiatus due to the Second World War, he made a dramatic comeback, captaining an Australian team known as the Invincibles on a record-breaking, unbeaten tour of England complex, highly driven man, not given to close personal relationships, Bradman retained a preeminent position in the game by acting as an administrator, selector and writer for three decades following his retirement. Even after he became reclusive in his declining years, his opinion was highly sought and his status as a national icon was still recognised. In 2009, he was inducted posthumously into the ICC Cricket Hall of Fame. Kathy Freeman. 
Catherine Astrid Salom Freeman, OAM, born in 16th of February 1973, is an Australian former sprinter who specialised in the 400 metres event. She would occasionally compete in other track events, but 400 metres was her main event. Her personal best of 48.63 currently ranks her as the eighth fastest woman of all time, set while finishing second to Marie Jos Perec at the 1996 Olympics. She became the Olympic champion for the women's 400 meters at the 2000 Summer Olympics, of which she lit the Olympic flame. Freeman was the first Australian Indigenous person to become a Commonwealth Games gold medalist at age 16 in 1990. The year 1994 was her breakthrough season at the 1994 Commonwealth Games in Canada. Freeman won gold in both the 200 meter and the 400 meter. She also won the silver medal at the 1996 Olympics and came first at the 1997 World Championships in the 400 meter event. In 1998, Freeman took a break from running due to injury. She returned from injury in form with a first place in the 400 meters at the 1999 World Championships. She announced her retirement from athletics in 2003. Since retiring from athletics, Freeman has become involved in a range of community and charitable activities. In 2007, she founded the Kathy Freeman Foundation. The foundation works with four remote Indigenous communities to close the gap in education between Indigenous and non-Indigenous Australian children by offering incentives for children to attend school. It partners with the AIEF and the Brotherhood of St. Lawrence. She was an ambassador of the Australian Indigenous Education Foundation, or the AIEF, until 2012. Anthony Field. Anthony Donald Joseph Field, AM, born on the 8th of May 1963, is an Australian musician, actor, songwriter, and producer. He is best known as a member of the children's group, The Wiggles, and a member of the 1980s and 1990s pop band, The Cockroaches. While still a teenager, he helped found the Cockroaches with his brothers, Paul and John. The Cockroaches recorded two albums and enjoyed moderate success, interrupted by field service in Australia's regular army until they disbanded in the late 1980s. Field attended Macquarie University to receive training in early childhood education and founded The Wiggles with fellow students Murray Cook, Greg Page and former bandmate Jeff Fatt in 1991. He worked as a preschool teacher for two years before the success of the Wiggles led him to focus on children's music full time. Despite Field's strong dislike of touring, the Wiggles became one of the most successful and active groups in Australia. Field, whose signature colour is blue while performing with the group, was responsible for the production aspects of their stage and television shows. CDs and DVDs. After the departure of Cook, Fat and Page in 2012, he is the only remaining original Wiggle. In 1999, Field was named Bachelor of the Year in Clio magazine, and in 2003, he married Michaela Petistias, a former dancer whose family owned Griffiths Coffee in Melbourne. They have three children who have joined the Field family business by appearing in several of the Wiggles TV shows and videos. Field was made a member of the Order of Australia on the 26th of January 2010 for service to the arts, particularly children's entertainment, and to the community as a benefactor and supporter of a range of charities. Al McPherson. Eleanor Nancy McPherson born on the 29th of March 1964, is an Australian model, businesswoman, television host, and actress. She's known most for her record five cover appearances for the Sports Illustrated swimsuit issue beginning in the 1980s, leading to her nickname, The Body, coined by Time in 1989. She is the founder, primary model, and creative director for a series of business ventures, including L. McPherson Intimates, which is a lingerie line, and The Body, a line of skincare products. She has been the host and executive producer of Britain and Ireland's Next Top Model from 2010 to 2013. She's an executive producer of NBC's Fashion Star and was the host for the first season. As an actress, McPherson appeared in supporting roles in The Mirror Has Two Faces in 1996 and as Julie Madison in Batman and Robin in 1997 
as well as lead roles in The Edge in 1997 and South Kensington in 2001. She had a recurring role on Friends and hosted an episode of Saturday Night Live. McPherson enrolled to study law at Sydney University. Before beginning her university studies, she visited the United States to spend one year doing modelling work to earn money to pay for her law books. She travelled to New York City, where she initially signed up with Click Model Management. Her modelling career began in 1982 with a television commercial for Tab, which established her as a girl next door figure in Australia. During the 1980s, McPherson's profile quickly rose and she appeared on the cover and in the pages of major magazines, including Elle, Harper's Bazaar, Marie Claire, Vogue, Cosmopolitan, Tatla, GQ, Allure, Mademoiselle, Glamour, Time, L'Officiel, Flair, Maxime, and New York. She cemented her high profile image through frequent appearances in Elle, she was featured on numerous covers and appeared in every issue for six straight years. In 1985, McPherson became the longtime face of luxury French skincare company Biotherm. She has walked the runways for companies such as Louis Vuitton, Ralph Lauren, Azadine Alaya, Donna Karen, Christian Dior, Thierry Mugler, Nicole Miller, Michael Kors, Perry Ellis, Kenzo, Todd Oldham, Calvin Klein, John Galliano and Valentino. She has appeared in advertising campaigns for Christian Dior, Escada, Enrico Coveri, Ezzedine Alaya, Guy Laroche, Ralph Lauren, Victorio and Luchino, Omega, Pinko, H&M, Victoria's Secret, Model Co and Revlon. She also appeared in non-fashion advertising campaigns for Diet Coke, Chrysler, Miller Lite, Impulse, Budweiser, Tab, KFC, Garuda Airlines and the Mandarin Oriental Hotel Group. After appearing nude in the 1994 film Sirens, McPherson learned that the media had begun searching for nude photos of her, including contacting her ex-boyfriends. To address this, McPherson appeared in a nude pictorial in the May 1994 issue of Playboy magazine, shot by Herb Ritz to produce nude photos on her own terms. McPherson has received a number of awards recognizing her business acumen and the success of L. McPherson Intimates. In 2005, she was named Glamour Magazine's Entrepreneur of the Year. In 2007, she received an Every Woman Ambassador Award recognizing her success as a businesswoman. In 2008, the Under Fashion Club's Femi Awards crowned her Lingerie Designer of the Year. In 2009, she received a World Career Award from the Women's World Awards. McPherson is a European ambassador for RED, an initiative set up by Bono and Bobby Shriver to raise money and awareness for the global fund to fight AIDS, tuberculosis, and malaria, and to help eradicate AIDS for women and children in Africa. And she is also an ambassador for UNICEF. And there we go. So many interesting Australians. That is our first episode on Famous Australians. I hope you enjoyed hearing all the details on the amazing things they've achieved. And I can't wait to tell you about more famous, interesting Australians and what they've done in their lives. Bye for now.